Oh, cutting me out. Probably for the best. I'm in the dark, Gene. <laughs> uh, John and Gene here. Uh, what's today's date? October 16th? Yeah, October 16th. I uh, just got out here for the opener for a rifle. Uh, running a little late. Definitely not my uh, doing. <laughs> We were supposed to be in the stand two minutes ago, so it's going to be a quick uh, intro video. So uh, there's about a foot of snow out there, so that's cool. I got in really late last night, so that's cool too. <laughs> Running off for three hours of sleep, so we'll, we'll John, see what's out there. John thought we had time to make a fucking video. <laughs> <laughs> and you get the sunrise in the background showing <clears throat> that jeans make it as light. <laughs> Definitely not me. <laughs> Well, we only saw two bucks this morning. Uh, did not need the rifle for those two bucks. Uh, it came into like 20 yards. So I spent all last weekend sighting my rifle in for 200 yards. I could have removed one zero and I would have been good. But we did see a couple of other bucks driving out, uh, out in the field, but Grab trail cameras, didn't see much on the cameras. Now we're gonna kinda walk this creek bottom here this afternoon, see if we come across any uh, bucks. Uh, it's starting to warm up, snow's starting to melt, so it's gonna be muddy, it's gonna be a little sloppy, but hopefully it all pans out. So we'll see, <laughs> see. Just got to the tree stand for the evening hunt. Uh, came across a couple of bucks during our afternoon hunt. 
uh, smaller bucks we actually had shots on. Uh, passed them up, and then there's two of them that we thought were pretty decent. Uh, but we spooked them out of their bedding. They were bedded down and couldn't get a shot off, so just got set up for the evening hunt. Gene is way over there in a tree. But uh, he got me set up in this tree. Uh, said it usually in the evening gets quite a bit of action, so we'll see. But uh, I think it got for me to attach the camera to the tree stand isn't quite cooperating. So I'm going to try to figure out what I have to do to get this camera fastened in, I guess, so it doesn't fall out of this tree. So I'll be pissing around with that for a little bit, but hopefully we'll uh, have a little bit of action tonight. John and I whew, came out here this evening and uh, was hoping to get John the buck and uh, a couple smaller bucks were coming his way and as uh, you're starting to get into dusk here <coughs> had a couple bigger bucks come out and uh, the first one he was really nice uh, we've actually named him Foreplay. It's the one that John's been after. And then uh, I saw this nice 5x5 five five buck coming in behind him and decided that I was going to take him so that way we can get something on the board. So super excited. This buck looks really good and uh, looked like a clean shot. He ran about 20 yards and uh, maybe 40 and then uh, dropped. So let's go check him out. I noticed that over there. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah. Do you want to uh, hear one sec? Oh my. Fuck. It's sock. <laughs> I can't believe I got sock. <laughs> 
Noise. Oh, that was such a good shot. I can hold the flash, yeah. <laughs> Him so and floor play, we're running together, huh? You want to come on this side, Johnny? Yeah. Yeah, him and floor play. Showing together. Nice. Dang, look at that, dude. I know, it's really crazy. Three from like touching. Uh huh. That's cool. You want to get a few pictures? Yeah, let me stop recording here. It is October 17th, the day after uh, Sock got shot. <laughs> so we're out this morning. We're going to try to get my bu buck down. Uh, we're gonna hunt the same field that uh, Sock got shot in uh, last night. Hopefully, the big 4x4 four four is in that field this morning. Uh, but it's almost light out. We're just kind of waiting for it to get a little bit lighter before we start scanning the field, seeing what's out there, and we'll see what happens. So we're doing a uh, good old fashioned uh, buck drive. Probably a couple hundred yards in front of Gene right now. Just kind of sitting down at the creek. Uh, we saw two good bucks kind of go into these trees here, but it's not so loud, so thick in there that if we both kind of just went in together, I think we're just going to bust them and not get a shot. So Gene's going to try to push these guys out into this opening here and hopefully I'll be able to get a shot off on one of these big guys, so, I don't know, we'll see. but dropped him, saw him that he was still struggling a little bit, so I put another one in him. But he's down, man, right in front of me. Had a feeling this deer drive would work. Uh, it looks like the 5x5 five five that was in the group this morning. So uh, we'll wait for Gene to pop out and we'll, we'll go from there. But no, got my first Wyoming buck on the ground. <laughs> Uh, came along this fence line and he stopped but I didn't have a good shot at him yeah and then uh, he jumped the fence so then like I got positioned and my right leg on my bipod must be broken because it like gave out so I was like ah oh, this sucks because I was just sitting right there on the hill oh were you <laughs> yeah <laughs> was he coming from the field no he came so he came out from these trees this these thick trees right in here? Yeah. That's where he kind of, well, I guess on the other side of the fence. You and, came way out here. Yeah. And then, cause I heard him. 
Like I heard them running. I mean, I had deer running behind me. It looked like a small buck going after a doe. But uh, he jumped the fence. I think he jumped the fence over there. That's what I heard. And then he ran. He stopped. He was like looking back towards you. And then he jumped the fence. And I whistled at him in this opening right here to try to get him to stop. And he didn't. And then I got him to stop. You see where the first blood splatter is. Yeah. And that's where I just shot him in between these trees right here. What is that, and like a 20-yard shot? Well, yeah. <laughs> well, on top of that hill, it's probably a little bit farther. But I knew I hit him high because he dropped, but he started, like, kicking. So I was like, I'm going to get another bullet in him. But I just, as soon as I saw five points, I was like, I'm shooting him. <laughs> <laughs> well, nice work, buddy. And then we had a bunch of deer. I didn't see any other bucks. There was a, like I said, I think there was a couple of small bucks back here. I didn't see or hear anything when I was walking, so. Oh yeah, no. And I was making a bunch of noise. This, he definitely heard you, cause he came darting out and he stopped at the fence. And I had to like reposition, cause I was looking at these deer over here to see if any other bucks were coming out. Yeah. Cause all I hear is crunch, 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 crunch. <laughs> Well, sweet man, we'll yeah. get in there. And I would just rotate both of these. 